Okay, we're going to look at the frog method for subtracting decimals. Now, to be honest, I don't know why they involve these poor little green slimy creatures in this, and I can assure you that no frogs have been harmed in making this video. But anyway, we are going to uh, do a subtraction. We're going to do 16.53 minus 9.87, okay? So just in case you don't know what that looks like, I'm going to go 16.53 minus 9.87. There we go, that's what we're looking at. Now in order to do this, we're going to start by marking 16.53 on here. Now, it's really important that the higher of the two numbers is at the right hand side. We wouldn't start by, we wouldn't say, let's put 5 here and 25 down here. It doesn't make sense. It would always be 5 this end, and then we work up from left to right to the higher number on this end. So, please make sure that you've got your higher number going from left to right. So the higher number is at the right, okay? Then we're going to write in the 9.87 uh, down here. And uh, so I'm going to put 9.87 there. And a little mark. These marks are not exactly accurate. Uh, but then we're going to count up from 9.87 to 16.53. What we're interested in, I think, is the difference between these two numbers. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so the difference is going to give us 16.53 minus 9.87, which is what we're after. Okay, so we're going to count these little, uh, we're going to count up from 9.87. We've got to be careful doing this because um, it's quite easy to go wrong. But we're going to do it in little jumps like this. And the first jump is from 9, the one I'm going to use is from 9.87 to 9.90. And that's a jump of plus 0 0.03. Because it's from 7 hundredths up to 10 hundredths. So it's 0 0.03. And we end up at 9.9. .9. Then we can do a jump from 9.9 .9 up to 10. Okay, and that's a jump of plus 0 0.1. Okay, so we've now reached 10, and 10 is quite good because that's a, a good starting point, and it's like a round number. <coughs> then I think we should jump all the way to 16. So the way we jump to 16 is doing that, and that will be a plus 6. Okay, and we've reached 16. Now we've got to go from 16 to 16.53. Well, a jump of 0 0.5 is not too bad. So 16, that's another 0 0.5. And then finally, it's another jump, a bit like at the start, of plus 0 0.03. Okay, so we've worked out the difference between these two numbers actually by counting up, but that's okay. If you really like frogs, I'm not going to draw one, but I will use a green pen. Uh, the frog has hopped a few times. One, two, three, across the lily leaves. And then he's got there. Okay, here we are. A frog on a lily leaf. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's a frog. No, it's not. I'm going to cross it now. It's a very bad frog. Anyway. Um, that's a good lily leaf. Okay, so all it remains for us to do is to add up how much we've uh, moved. Okay, and that will give us the answer to this problem. And we have moved uh, six. Let's have a look. We've moved six plus 0.5, which is 6.5, plus 0 0.1, which is 6.6. .6 plus 0.03, which is 6.63, plus finally another 0.03, which is 6.66 in total. So I think the answer to this is 6.66.